Hello Guardians and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We have here um, weapon options for Haru 5 star just in case you are deciding whether to pull for the current limited uh, weapon banner or you're going to be getting the 4 star uh, weapon in the shop as well for her there are other options aside from those guns so without further ado let's uh, check them out so first and foremost we have here number four which is concrete jungle so concrete jungle check out the comparison so it's uh, kinetic by the way rate of fire 240 it's the same as the first two guns that are recommended for her so uh, in terms of rate of fire same ammo capacity same reload speed same it has um, again the 12 which is a fast shooting gun crit damage is also 30. the skill is increases ballistic damage standard skill damage and ultimate skill damage by 16.8 it's actually the lowest of the damage boost but again this is going to be permanent there are no duration limits this is going to be permanent so Worst case scenario, if you don't have all of the other guns, you can actually use this for now up until you upgrade your gun. That is why Concrete Jungle is ranked at four. Number three is going to be Star Ocean here. So Star Ocean is kinetic. Um, this has a bigger damage gun with ammo of six capacity rate of fire is going to be at 75 so it's going to be slower and reload speed is also going to be slower at one critical damage however is at 60 but again you should be accurate enough to use this gun especially when i go to her standard skill later so again bigger damage um slower rate of fire slower reload speed as well so that is um the short description of how this gun does okay for the skill increase skill damage by 35 percent which is big so this is also a fixed uh what they call this fixed skill um skill buff so skill damage 35 percent when an active skill hits a target deals kinetic damage equal to 15 percent of the user's attack every 0 0.5 seconds last for three seconds repeat this uh, uh repeating this will reset the duration so this one has a built-in damage over time effect this was mentioned in one of one of the comments that is why i wanted to showcase it here as well but i already actually thought of this um and that is why i'm going to showcase this so again um for the summary skill damage 35 kinetic damage um which is included in the damage over time 50% of user attack uh, every 0 0.5 seconds for 3 seconds. Okay, huge skill damage boost, but you need to be accurate for S energy restore and cooldown because this is tied towards compensatory justice. Compensatory justice has a mechanic wherein um, if you hit the enemy, it restores faster your S energy and your cooldown. Okay, so again, uh, for you to use this, you have to be extra, extra accurate for you to use this because, again, this is a six capacity gun. Reload speed is slow as well. Rate of fire is slow, but damage is big. So I'm not sure if this is the right gun for her, especially if you need to make sure that you keep on hitting and restoring S energy and cooldown and restoring and shorten the cooldown of your um, standard skill. So this gun therefore is landing on third on this rank it's gonna give you a huge skill damage buff but in terms of the mechanic you might want to use another gun okay so moving to our second one which is this one this is available in the store in the limited store this is her four star gun which is wild wasp stinger it's also kinetic, same rate of fire as concrete jungle, ammo capacity is 12, reload speed is 1.2, and crit damage output is going to be 30%. The skill, however, for this one, this is more compatible with the standard skill because, again, with fast rate of fire, bigger ammo capacity, and faster loading speed. Continuously use the same skill. This is for this, the skill of the gun uh, to gain the hive effect, increasing attack 
by 6% for 5 seconds, max for stacks. So the max attack buff is going to be 24% for 5 seconds. But again, you can just repeat this as long as you keep on hitting. So continuously use the same skill to gain the hive effect. Okay, so increasing attack. This is actually tied to the standard skill that she has. So modified for damage in terms of attack speed. So in terms of the modifiers of all the skills for Haru, it's going to be all tied to her attack skill. That is why I am actually ranking this gun as second. So again, this will benefit all of her skills, increase attack, which is, which, which is going to be uh, translated into an increase of damage so again this um the faster shooting guns are going to be more you know it's, it's going to it's going to be more beneficial for haru except for star ocean because again the skill damage buff is actually that big okay so the last gun that we're going to talk about is her limited uh weapon um limited weapon in her limited banner so let us see 16 psyche which is kinetic Again, same stat as Wild Wasp Stinger and uh, Concrete Jungle as well. Just, just going back to Wild Wasp Stinger, um, there would be a chance that the buff would be increased because this um, copies of Wild Wasp Stinger is going to be available for the store, for the duration of the store, so you can put this gun up to tier 5. But you need to get 5 copies of this gun. So again, this will greatly increase the buff as well as you may have copies for this gun. Uh, going back to 16 Psyche, so for the skill, it's a longer skill because it has a lot of effects going for it. So increase critic, sorry, kinetic damage by 18% upon defeating a target or using a standard skill, gain the corrosion effect. Increase attack by 4.2 for 5 seconds. We'll summarize that later. Max 5 stacks. Upon using the ultimate skill, gain also a skill damage boost according to the number of corrosion stacks. And refresh the corrosion duration. Each stack of corrosion increases skill damage by 1.8 for 5 seconds if triggered more than once on the, um, once on the most recent effect will apply. So I have a typo there. Please bear with me. I'll just correct it later. So, in terms of summary, connected kinetic damage uh, buff is going to be boosted by 18%. And also, there's a 21% attack percentage for 5 seconds buff. And um, and skill boost damage after the ultimate, uh, ultimate equal to 9% for 5 seconds. So, these are all the buffs. That is why... This gun is the best for her. So three buffs all in all for one gun. So kinetic damage, uh, attack percentage buff, and um, skill damage boost buff as well. So effects on the skill modifier for kinetic damage, damage per hit, and skill damage boost output. Again, this gun is the best for her. If you really want to maximize her and to make sure that she can shred enemies, Therefore, you need to get this gun. This uh, works well with her. But again, guys, I would, you know, I would not want you guys to, to force yourselves into getting this gun. That is why I have different options for you to choose from. Again, there are options because uh, when, when uh, the, we should consider free to play as well. Also, for those who have existing guns already, like Star Ocean, if you have them, you can use them. Uh, Wild Wasp Stinger, you can farm for this gun if you're free to play as well. So the Concrete Jungle can be your gun for the moment. But again, these are options that will help you decide which one are you going to bring or which one are you going to get. So that is it, guys. Hopefully, I was able to help you with this um, file. I will put a link to this file so that you could have a quick reference and probably decide more after you've seen this video. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Guardians, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.